Actually, the inspiration came from the opening movie of Dynasty Warriors 5. In that movie, Zhao Yun rushed into a horde of enemies, attacking in one seamless stream of action. I thought, wouldn't it be great to be able to do this in a game? And that was how I started thinking about what would eventually become the Renbu system. One of the main features of the series has always been the tactical action part of the game. Unlike in a normal action game, the player has to keep track of all units everywhere on the field and plan his movements strategically. These movements affect the movements of others, ensuring a new flow and outcome each time. Huge playing areas allow the player to fully experience this kind of living battlefield. Swimming and climbing add another strategic element to the game. For example, can I swim a river or climb a mountain to get behind the enemy? These choices can really change the course of a battle and we try to work them seamlessly into the game. The biggest advantage to have in a fight is surprise and these choices allow you to gain that advantage. We've done what we can to make the enemies more real so that the player feels like he's on the battlefield. The troops actually work together to pull off combination attacks. They show their surprise when attacked unexpectedly. And other small but important things which make up a Dynasty Warriors battle. The designs have actually evolved slightly with each new release. But with Dynasty 6 we wanted something new to go with the advent of the new generation of consoles. We believe that we've come up with fresh characters that fans of the series should enjoy. Certainly some of the characters are a little more true to history. Sun Shang Zhang was known as an exceptional archer, so in this release we've given her back her bow. And Liu Bei now carries the two swords that he was famous for. But not everyone's historically correct. For example, Liu Bu is famous for the Sky Piercer, his well-known halberd type weapon. We changed that weapon from its standard look to that of a pair of crossed halberds instead. With regard to sound, throughout the series our most important goal has been having music that enhances the player's one against a thousand experience. And throughout the series our sound director Massa has always come through for us. This time Massa has designed the music to be simpler, more direct, more enhancing of the player's presence on the battlefield. The first thing of course is the visuals, the feel of the air, the sprawling battlefields, the numbers of troops that cover the ground like herds of wild deer. All of this is due in a large part to the performance of the next generation consoles, as are the improvements in the processing speed for the AI and numerous other things within the game. If you come from the planning stage with core team members to the end, it probably takes about two years. I believe each character took about five months to create. Yes, it is harder to create a character because so much more is possible. Let me give you an example. Until now, we did our motion capture one character at a time, but for this, we needed to have two actors in at a time to make our new moves look more realistic. Zhao Yun, Lu Bu, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. There are too many that I like to be able to narrow it down to one. 
After all, having a wide variety of characters, each with his own bit of charm or charisma, or his own personal agenda or motivation, is the crux of the Warriors series. What I'd really like everyone to try are the sieges. To attack a gate, you gather your engineers to you, then win enough space for them to work. While they build, you protect them, since the enemy sends out troops to stop them. You might have to climb ladders and take out the enemy on the wall so that your side can succeed in opening that gate. With all the action taking place there at the walls, the feeling of being there, right in the battle, is even stronger than ever. The most important factor in the series has always been the simplicity of control. The newest player can have fun just mashing the buttons until they learn the intricacies of battle, while the experienced warrior can choose from a myriad of advanced techniques to string together a deep and satisfying action experience. I believe that we as developers have only begun to scratch the surface of what can be done with this new generation of consoles. Dynasty Warriors 6 has advanced in many areas and is the best we can do at this time. Still, fans can look forward to even better games in the future. Please enjoy Dynasty Warriors 6.